Anthony. Sorry. Uh, <coughs> well, my phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when, 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 when was your last fight now then? Um, I don't know, you know, it was, it was July in uh, Dillon White. July maybe. Yeah. So now you so a long break for you really, because uh, there's talk about your next fight being against uh, Scott Fitzgerald, which yeah. is why I'm down here. Yeah, yeah. Scott's one of our boys, and uh, I was just talking to your manager before, and I just think, what an absolutely fantastic fight for two guys who, as good as you both are, putting your holes on your line yeah. so early on. That's what I asked for the fight, mate. Um, I'm very confident in my ability, and I want to move on faster. I think nowadays boxers get protected too much fighting journeyman all the careers and stuff and um, I'm not about that. I believe I'm, I believe I'm at a high level now. I believe I'm the best fighter in the country domestic so I want to prove it on the night. Well it's a good division that you're in isn't it? And uh, you know you've got probably Liam Brooke and uh, Kel, uh, yeah. sorry Liam Smith uh, and Kel Brooke yeah. and then obviously Liam Williams that are probably top of the yeah. tree but there's yourself, Cheeseman, Scott, JJ yeah. um, that are probably looking to to become British champion and step on from there. Definitely, yeah. I want to obviously box Scott and I want to box Cheeseman. I want to win the British title and I don't want to move on. I want to like defend every time. Keep learning the job, but I'm not here to waste time. I don't want to keep fighting these kids who I'm meant to beat. My last fight, the kid was 8 and 0, but I, I believe him levels above him and um, I think I showed it on the night. Yeah, well, you know, what are you? This is your eighth fight. So you're yeah. saying realistically, if everything went to plan, you could be on the world scene inside 15 fights. Yeah, definitely not. That's what I'm looking to do. I'm not looking to rush me career. I've been pro about 14 months, I think, but already I'm ranked seventh in the, in the country, so I'm, I'm moving fast. And um, I believe beating Scott and beating Ted Cheeseman proves that I'm the best domestically. Yeah, well, like I say, all quality lads. I mean, I, I forgot we've got um, another kid from Manchester, uh, Jimmy Kelly, who uh, uh, yeah. fought Liam Smith. Uh, it was about two, three years yeah, ago now. Uh, he wants to get back in the mix there with you all. Yeah. So it's a, a really exciting division. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's great for the fans. Like I said, um, I'm here to entertain. I'm here to, to feel no one and box these kids who are on my level. I, go, I want to go in there and I want to show what I'm capable of. I don't want to train the way I train, train 12 weeks of hell and then go and box a kid. I'm going round one. I want to go in there and show what I'm about. Well, obviously, you were ringside when uh, Scott fought uh, at the weekend wasn't perhaps his best performance but he found out what he needed uh, in the last round and managed to yeah. get the stoppage um, and I, I remember your, your reply was when people said does that give you confidence and you went no I don't need confidence yeah. well Scott could have won first round I felt you know was that that won't phase me I would I would have liked him to have won first round I felt to give him um, hide the fight a bit more like people are now starting to write him off but I know what Scott's capable of I've seen him throughout his whole career I've seen him in the ABAs when he won the ABAs like middle I've seen him win the Cobbler of Gold and I was got to go fight it, but you know, I was a good fighter too. Well, the, the thing about this is, you're both actually the same weight, you know, as yeah, amateurs. Yeah. But you, yeah. you fought at middleweight, and he fought at uh, welterweight. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, that hurt him that because he always wanted to be at your weight, and you would have wanted to fight at his old weight that he yeah, won the ABAs at yeah, 71, 71. Yeah. which would have been perfect for you. True, I think we're both like like Miller, but I think I made the weight a, a lot easier than Scott. I think Scott struggles with the weight. He's naturally like a chunky kid. I can remember when he, um, he won the Commonwealth Gold. He went to Mexico with his girlfriend and I can remember he came home about 13 stone or something like that. Well, you know, 10 weeks before that fight with um, uh, Craig Morris, uh, I went to interview him down at his gym with at the Jennings and uh, he was a solid 13 and a half at all. Yeah. He wasn't fleshy no, or no, anything. No, no, he's naturally a big kid. He's, um, he's big at the weight, but I, I am bigger, I'm, I'm bigger again, you know what I mean? But, I believe that I lived a life a lot more than Scott. I think Scott let himself go a little bit. And I think in, in a fight with me, when he's got to make 11 stone, I think the weight's going to hurt him. And I think after the round progress, I'm going to get a lot stronger. And I think Scott will fade. Well, do you feel you've had all your bad luck in boxing early on? Because actually, you couldn't turn pro when you wanted to because you'd injured yourself before the Olympics yeah. and you were fighting in the Olympics injured. You had to have surgery when you yeah. come out. That's what made you yeah. kick over late. And then you got an injury, was it in your me fourth hand, fight, was yeah, it? Yeah, hand. Well, um, we all get injuries, but as an amateur, I was um, I was flying in 2014, I was number one. I was number three in the world, I was flying in um, 2015. I had a, um, a blood clot in my nose after sparring some Indian. He sparred me with um, a pair of bag gloves on, mm. you know what I mean? And he, he damaged my nose, I missed the Europeans, I missed the world, I lost all my ranking. And before the Olympics, I, um, I fell off a quad bike and Told me to rotate the, told me to rotate the cuff. So in the Olympics, I was fighting with one hand basically, and I think against the world class opponent that I, I got, I needed more than that. 
Do you know something though? Your amateur record is a bit special in the sense of I think two hundred and nine fights, yeah. hundred and ninety wins. Yeah. I mean that's like that's when we hear about these Eastern Bloc or mm -hmm. the American kids, you know, who have records like that. We don't get many British yeah. kids with To be fair, mate, um I got robbed a few times well, you know, I half them losses I shouldn't have lost. And in domestically especially I dominated. I won the ABA six years, six times in the run, I didn't lose a fight. And um, from the age of sixteen to eighteen, I won every single tournament. I didn't, I didn't lose one fight. I won thirty-six straight fights, three junior ABAs, three GB gold. So I was, um, I dominated at domestic as an amateur and um, as a pro. I want to do the same. Well, I tell you something. I think the the British public are in for a real treat when uh, you and uh, Scott Fitzgerald clash. We're not sure when it's going to be, but we know it's going to happen. Hopefully before Christmas. Uh, any predictions? I think I'll stop them, but, um, but around five six rounds well i can't say anything because scott's our boy yeah, so just listen scott to my mate as well you know like people think it's something i've got against them it's not at all like scott knows that i'm his friend and um after a fight i'll buy him a drink well all i can say is may the best man win you will anthony thank you very much mate thanks a lot mate thank you.